to them and they're enacting God's will. That's the clarification. So what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is, yeah, if three quarters of a million people are kicked out of their homes through no fault of their own, yeah, they want their homes back. And you have a problem with that. Uh, what I, I have a problem with is that you have a very short memory of you forget who the how many people were kicked out of their homes when the Muslims invaded them. How many? No, you you you're making a two wrong how many? Like a right argument. I'm not making that argument. Oh, okay. make so what you're saying is yeah. that Israel, Israelites should get Israel should get out of there, give that land back to Palestine. How many? Is that what you're yeah, if you can. What are you saying? How many? In the ideal situation, what would be your scenario? Give me your my, scenario. My scenario is yeah. if something's a colony, if somebody's been colonizing somebody else, it ain't right. their place to colonize. They need to get out. Can I get the definition of colony? Because colony is when you one country is controlling another country. Yes. Which country is controlling Israel? Sorry? Which country is controlling yeah, which, who, Whose colony is Israel? <laughs> the Anglo-American. Well, all right, arguably, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair enough. So, there, there, I, so, I actually, so they I actually don't use the word colonization America, because colony is not a colony. It's a land that's owned by the they are Europeans that are living there. In, a, in, a, in an Arab land, in a, in a Middle Eastern country. <laughs> In a Semitic country. Okay, they in a are, Semitic country. See, they are claiming that they are Ashkenazi they are, Jews. They're claiming meaning they that they're are Semites. Of they're not Semites. They got kicked out of their home no. hundreds of years ago. They came back after uh, hundreds of years no, ago. No, according no, to their narrative. No, Wait a minute. No, why, are you, why are you saying no, no, without any reason? Slow-mo sand, everybody. Slow-mo sand, the invention of the Jewish people. What do you mean? You know, no. Yeah. no. Can I, if you got something exclusive, you, you, yeah. you can do yeah. that. But the, but the point is this. Yeah. If this land belongs to the he said, well, because it's their God gave it to them. Now, we have a historical document that states that this belongs to the Israelites, of the Jews. That's in the Bible. Where does it say, now, uh, the reason why... No, 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 no,
if we go and invade a country and that country tries to get their land back from us, are we going to say, oh, they're invading us? Can no. I say something? Because they're taking their land back Can I say something? From, the, uh, from the invader. Can I say so, something? when the, when the, when the, when the, when the crusade happened, Wrong. the Christians were taking back the land. Yes. 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 That's the history. Yes. Yes. So Can you wait, 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 wait. Say something. Tell him, tell him. Let's clarify. The crusades were led by the Catholic Church. Not by the Eastern Orthodox, not by the Eastern Orthodox, yeah, yeah, yeah. East, yeah, yeah. East, East yeah, Orthodox yeah, yeah. Byzantine Listen, no. Empire. Please, Akhi. Okay, okay. So it was, it was the Catholics and Europe, Europe, Western Europe, Western and Central Europe, Germanic people, Franks, yeah, Latin-speaking people, yeah, who came into the Middle East, yeah, and at least give us this. At least the Arabs were Semitic. At least their language no, no, let him related talk, let him talk, let him talk. to the Hebrews people. Manus, wait, Manus. wait. Whilst the Byzantines themselves were what? Not Latin speakers like the Catholics. Greek. Greek. European. European. Turkish. Colonization. Latin, Greek, <laughs> Europe. Colonization. Finished? Yes. Finished? Okay, thank you. I didn't interrupt, did I? You were I'm going to. I stopped you. Thank you. I didn't. <laughs> now, please don't interrupt. Okay. The point is that the Latin or the Byzantine did not invade. It was the Catholic Church that did. Who invited the Catholic Church? The Byzantines could not. They lost the war with the, uh, with the Muslims. They said, hey, we are losing here. We need help from you, even yeah, though we don't really. agree with you. On our, they went to, for help from the other Christians, which were the, the Catholic Church, the Pope. And the Pope said, okay, even though we don't agree with each other, we are going to do this because we have a common enemy, Islam. That's why, my friend, they came over there. So what is you on about? Not a single word of that is true. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so now, now you respond. Why is that incorrect? As far as I am aware, I do not know of any correspondence from the Byzantine from Constantinople, okay, beseeching the Catholics, telling them to come in to take Jerusalem. Okay, I'm so, not aware of that. No, you're not so, aware of it. That doesn't finish. mean that it's not there. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I... So much so, one thing I am aware of, which is probably the Seventh Crusade, if I'm right or wrong. Around that, because there were 10, 11 Crusades. In the Seventh Crusade, when the Europeans under the Catholic Church, especially the Venetians from Venice, who led it, yeah, the Don, the Don of Venice, who was blinded, what did he do on the way to the Crusades? Who, what city did he sack? Constantinople. Constantinople. You could go to Venice, go to St. Mark's Square, and you could see all of the booty from the Christian Jihad, okay? You could see all the two horses uh, on the arches. You could see the booty they took from Constantinople in Venice and St. Mark's Square today. If they were so righteous, Christians, if they wanted to defend Christianity so much, and as you said, if they wanted to help their Byzantine Christian friends and brothers in Christ, why do they sack Constantinople and loot it and rape and kill and pillage their Christians on their way to Jerusalem? All right, can that make sense? Okay, no, I'll answer that for you. And I'm glad that you were correct historically because that was way after the first uh, 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 crusade. It was like sixth, seventh crusade when this happened. It was a many dispute. Let me let me explain to you. Now I didn't interrupt you since you went back into history and got this point, and this is a point. This happened because there was a money issue. The finances were not paid for the crusade by the people who were supposed to do it. And the crusaders said, if you don't do it, we're gonna get our money from Prince Nobel, and that's when they did it. So this was an in dispute inside this whole organization, but that was the start or the end of that organization or that crusade. The crusades were started hundreds of years ago. This happened hundreds of years later when one of the crusades, they were supposed to get money and the Venetians didn't pay the money for the ships and everything. They needed big ships and army to invade. That had to be financed. For the financing dispute, this was their response. And what does that have anything to do with uh, Islam or anything like that? That was an inside dispute. And that's nothing to do with that. It's a money issue. It's a, no, no, it's a history. No, no, no. Uh, Idris, listen, I never say anything to you like okay. that. So, no, it's not rubbish. Okay. It is historical. Said, it was a financial said, dispute. I said rubbish. I said whitewash. Okay, whitewash. No. Oh, carry on, carry on. Okay, let me just say, this is not whitewash. This is part of history. This was a financial dispute why they did that, to get money. And that was wrong what they did. It wasn't right, but they did something wrong. But the, the reason why they did it I was not... I am sire, you are liar. 
I am Messiah. You are liar. I am Messiah. You are liar. Okay. I am Messiah. You are liar. Muslim copied from Torah and Bible and put into the Quran. Okay. Allah says, now? Allah says, if you, you want stop? knowledge, you get stop? it from Jews and Christians. Okay, good for you. Don't do that. Let's just check. Okay. And he, he tells a lot of lies. Okay. He picks up a lies which are copied from Torah and Bible Rabbi, and put into the Quran. And stop? he said, oh, can that's wrong. That's wrong. Can you stop? Quran is correct book, except the lies which had been copied from Torah and Bible. Right. The point of what I said was, there wasn't an amenable, constant relationship between Byzantine and the Catholic Church. It broke down, bro. It broke down because of financial issues. It broke down. Okay, there was that's a, fine. There was a lot of enmity. Okay, so I wanted to show this to prove a point. That these so-called soldiers of Christ would kill their own brethren within Christ on their way to kill the Muslims. Yeah, they did the own jihad, own Christians before they did. And I gave the you the reason. The... And I gave I'm you aware the of the reason. I'm just pointing out the facts. Well, then you're misstating the facts at the least. Why? Because they did not kill them because... Why, Why? did they kill them? Why did Why? they... Okay, tell me why. On your mind, why? Can I ask you a question, bro? In your mind, why did they? Uh, did attack? I not? Why did they attack on the time did, in your mind? Did why? Did I not say the Don was blind? And one of the reasons why he was blind is because of one of the issues he had with Byzantine that he got blinded, and then the, yes, there was financial dis uh, issues between them. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, now let's progress this argument further because the point is this. Did you say he lied about me. This guy lied about me last time. That's right, I love you, man. Yeah. We should have a debate. Yeah, we'll yeah, have a debate. After, 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 after this conversation ends, ends, we have a debate. Yeah, 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 yeah. After this conversation ends, you can debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after this conversation, we should debate. What happened? What happened? All right, we'll talk about that in a bit. We can go quite fast. No, 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 like, yes, you're going to start yelling. Yeah, this is the same thing. 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 This is the same uh, Mark 16, verse 9 and 20 is unconfirmed. Uh, but in Matthew, Luke, and John, there we have the account. And so when you say yep. the visions are the same, you're saying in each of these accounts is the yeah. same? Or are you also saying within a gospel, within one book itself, it will be the same multiple so, so what I mean by the same visions is they claim to have seen Jesus appear before them. So if you think about it, it would kind of be like if 12 people got together and went, we all saw someone, and now we're convinced that that person is raised from the dead, and now we're going to preach that till we die a horrible death. I'll tell you where my mind was going with that, where my mind of question was. If one of the folks writes it first, then the others can copy it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so I, I well, in some, in some element, that, that kind of did happen in the sense that Matthew, Mark and Lucas did the Gospels, which means that they have a very large amount of the same material. And they get it, what some scholars would say, from a, a leader, an oral or a written source called Q. Uh, John comes later, the Johannian Gospel is the most different out of the four. So, I, I have no problem with that, personally. It depends what you interpret from that. Does that mean that they were making it up as a copy? Or does it mean that they were writing their own accounts but using a material that was familiar to all of them? So, I think it's a really compelling argument, but what I bring it back to is we're looking for something that's being false. It is something false. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't address it. And, and so, yeah, I'll just give it and then you can address it. So, just for the audience, where my mind was going was we're looking for something that's been falsified, but it can be falsified. So, if the temple is here today, the third temple, okay, the Messiah must have come. You are a liar! I am Messiah! He's come! You are a liar! We were waiting for the temple. I am Messiah, you are liar. Muslim copied from Torah and the Bible and put in the Quran. And that's lies because oh, it was lies. And Allah revealed to me, I, I closed my eyes and then I was walking in my mosque and Allah said, God said, throw the books out 
except Quran. Wait, wait, wait. I thought you said the Quran. Oh, that was a vegan. That was a vegan I saw and I closed my eyes. I'll call it. I hope you're well. Now I'm very well. I am ready to prepare a new world for Jesus. I am Messiah. He is a liar. Sir, please, sir, please. I am can Messiah. You, can you, away? you don't believe in heaven and earth. No, no, fine, fine, you are, fine, you fine. change Torah. Yes, I was and, you, and Muslim never wrote a word of Bible. They copied it from Jeremiah, Messiah. Try to distill stability and give it to um, Because they know it's going to be compelling arguments, and that's why we're being shouted down. I am Messiah. You are a liar. I am Messiah. You are a liar! I am Messiah! You are a liar! I'm pissed off! Go and learn knowledge, you idiot! I spent 50 years in the, in the part of my life. Okay, so very, very, very So, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to sum it up, but my, 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 my key thing for you is I know if any Christian evangelist who wants to convert you. I am Messiah! He is a liar! Alhamdulillah! I read Quran. I learned knowledge from Bible and Torah. I think that's the most compelling argument. I don't know if I agree. I agree. I would actually say the miracle of the resurrection is probably the best way to do that because the falsifiability of it would be that you would find a body in a tomb where it says Jesus of Nazareth was here. And you find the body. That would falsify, I believe. But from that period, most of the Jews that died won't be able to find their graves. Never mind it. Such and such. Fair, fair, fair enough, but if you did, it would actually, I would have to, that would seriously, that would destroy my faith, honestly. Uh, Paul actually says in, in one of his epistles that if Christ wasn't uh, crucified and resurrected, and if the tomb is not empty, our belief is in vain. And all for nothing. So did you hear that, Rabbi Singer? If you can find the grave, we'll get one of their best. We'll get one of their best from the park at least. So I guess that's, I mean, that to me is probably the clearest example of the false Bible, because you can prove it wrong. Um, I don't you know, find that's, this that's to be well, it's, it's always a pleasure to talk. It's always a pleasure. It's not my 15 brothers. Some people say, I was going to make a video, but I'm going to watch. <laughs> I say, you are liar. I am Messiah. You are liar. You are, I am Messiah. You are just like a, I am a, just like a, Messiah. Mirza You are liar. You are just I like a Mirza You are liar. You are like your book. You are, like your book. You are who died in the toilet. You are Muslim in disguise. You are you are, you are spy. Just like a, you are you spy! Are like Mirza Ghulam Ahmed died on the... Uh, you are uh, liar! Toilet. Toilet. I am Messiah! You are spy! He also, he also claimed to be Messiah! You are paid by intelligence service! You are paid by intelligence service! He thinks he's Messiah! You are liar! I am Messiah! You are liar! I am Messiah! You are liar! I am Messiah! Jesus died for you. Muslim copied lies from Quran. The Muslim copied lies from Bible and Torah and put it in the Quran. That's all lies. They didn't know you're doing to be doing. They know the God. They know Mehdi. There is a person, Allah revealed to me, he will have a line on his forehead. His forehead will be slightly concave. And he is a, he's a Mahdi. Allah said Mahdi will have a line on his forehead. And his forehead will be slightly concave. I am Messiah, he is a liar. I am Messiah, he is a liar. I am Messiah. He's a liar. liar. I am Messiah. Like you are liar. Liar. Like they know Mehdi. They know Mehdi. You are Mehdi. You are Messiah. And uh, Jews and Christians made up lies. Jews and Christians made up lies. A divine man. A man born in a Virgin Mary. Holy and down with power from on high. Torah is a lie. Torah is a lie. 
Torah is a lie. Man and Bible is a lie. You, so come here. you follow lie Bible. You are a, you are same like your Mahdi Messiah. Allah is a true life in the Torah. True beings yes. are created. These are properties belonging to God. Therefore, you need to unify this in some way. Now, if you say that Allah is one, and you say it's one hand, you are liar. I am Messiah. You are liar. I am Messiah. I will prepare a new world for Jesus. Okay, thank you. And the world will be destroyed in one second. America, Russia will go to Iran. And the world will be destroyed in one second. Okay, don't do that. Oh, bullshit. Right. So if the Quran is eternal, and Allah is eternal, you have two eternal beings. That's problematic for someone who thinks that Allah is one and there is only one God. Because one of the properties of God is that he is uncreated. He was before all creation. He was in a state position outside of creation. But if you say the Quran, which you believe, I understand is a book, if you believe that it exists alongside Allah, you have made a partner with Allah. This is problematic for you. Now, Christians have our own understanding of how we reconcile these things. So, for example, you can say God's omnipotence, His omniscience, His omnipresence are properly understood as being with the nature of God. Therefore, we don't say they're separate from God. But the Quran, given that it is a physical book, given that it is next to Allah and, and uncreated and eternal, is separate from Allah. That's problematic. Now you have two gods. I would like you to address this because my understanding is Orthodox Sunni, the Orthodox Sunni position is that the Quran is not created because to say it's created is to reject Sunni Islam, but it is uncreated, it is eternal, and that it intercedes for you at a particular point in a certain way, like doves or like clouds. Okay, now again, his logic, he said the Quran is uncreated. Therefore, and the Quran is eternal, and therefore Quran itself is God, is separated from God, according to his logic. But he's using double faith, he's, he's double standard. So according to him, the words of God, which God has spoken in the Bible, according to him, those words are not separated from God. But according to his logic, he's separating the words of Allah and him. They are separated. So the words of God of the Bible and and God Himself of the Bible, He's saying they are not separated. Double standard. So otherwise, you have to believe the words of Allah, which is Quran, is not separated from Him. His attributes, the attributes of Allah, we believe Allah has attributes. So one of His attributes is speech. So speech of Allah is uncreated. Okay, we agree with that. So also they believe the attribute of God is uncreated. Like now, power of God. The words which God spoke to the Bible are uncreated and eternal. According to their logic, they say Muslims have two gods because the words of Allah is uncreated and eternal, is separated from Allah. So same applies what he's saying, that logic applies to his double standard, his God, which is God of the Bible and his You are liar! I am Messiah! Thank you. You are liar! Yes, Don't touch me! Okay, God, Don't touch me! And this is a public space! It's spirit. not your... God he's a liar, I am Messiah. Five, he's a liar, five, I am Messiah. He he's a liar, I am Messiah. He's a liar, I am Messiah. Lamb of the seven spirits of God. So according to their logic, the seven spirits of God is uncreated and eternal. So that means, according to their logic, the seven spirits of God should be also more than one God, but seven gods, because all of them are uncreated. Since it's like a man that is uncreated, who died in the toilet, that's lying, that's lying. God is God, so that means they have more than three gods. He's a liar, he's a liar. So what's the right to say? Mirza Ghulam. Yeah, Mirza Ghulam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but he's paid by intelligence yeah. yeah. and to cause Muslim trouble. Who? Oh. He's, he's Muslim in Islam. He believes in, he believes in our religion. Who? Oh. You. 
Me? I, I, I believe I believe your religion as a false uh, religion. And your daughter's past. Your daughter's past. And your your daughter enjoyed Muta. Muta. Yeah. So so your daughter enjoyed Muta. The word of God. Yeah. Your, your daughter. Liar. Your daughter. Your daughter, your daughter so enjoyed Muta. God resides on an eternal tablet alongside yeah. God. We don't believe that. We believe that God inspired man through the Holy Spirit to write scripture that is in accordance with his will. We don't believe that's uncreated alongside God because we believe that will be sure. So he has misrepresented the Christian position. Shock. Now. Shock. 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 Okay. He then. <laughs> so the problem that the Muslims find themselves in is that he believes that the Quran is eternal, preserved on a tablet. I assume he believes that includes the letters, the Arabic, and the languages, the, the very things themselves that compromise that tablet, the letters, the words. If they are eternal, then letters and words of Arabic are elements of creation. That would mean that the creation itself of Arabic is now present on an uncreated thing. So somehow, an uncreated, ele uh, uncreated Quran references creation. That's problematic. Secondly, if he says that the Quran is actually just not separate from Allah at all, it's a part of Allah, he adopts the Christian position, then great, because now what he's just done is he's just said the Quran that is written on the hearts of Muslims, on the hearts of Hafiz, I think you're a Hafiz, right? You know the Quran. But if he knows the Quran, then the Quran is in creation. And if the Quran is the eternal word of Allah, that's a part of Allah. Allah is in creation. And Allah is with all of the Muslims who have memorized the Quran. Congratulations. You've just adopted something very similar to the Christian belief. Hallelujah. So the, so the Muslim is between a rock and a hard place. Either they say the Quran, the word of Allah, is separate from Allah, in which case you have two uncreated beings, you have two gods. Or if it's in the oneness of Allah, then Allah has entered creation. Which side will you pick? I'll give you my time. That's good, yeah. Give me time. You're a liar! I am Messiah! You're a liar! I am Messiah! And I already said, if the word of God should be God itself, that means the words God spoken from since the word he created the world. And he's spoken with his prophets in the Old Testament. In the Bible it says, like example, in Isaiah chapter 45 verse 5, God over the Bible speaks and he said what? I am the God and there is no God beside me. So according to the logic, which is same as the Quran, God is spoken, so that means the word of God itself is hey, God. That's nonsense. None of the prophets of the Bible believed the words of God are God. Show me, I challenge any Christian. I don't want Christian theology. I want to go with the prophets because God sent prophets to guide all his nation, all the people, all mankind. Because the prophets are the way and the truth. None of them believe the word itself so is God. So now what I'm saying is, according to Christian theology, all of us, we are God. Do you know why? Because we have the spirits of God. Our spirits came from God. As in the Bible it says, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 6, and chapter 12, verse, um, it says chapter 12, verse 7, I think. It says what? When people die, all the spirit goes back to the one, goes back to God. Doesn't matter, one minute, I'll speak one minute. So it says our spirit is from God. So if our spirit is from God, that means our spirit, which is from God, is uncreated and eternal. Because the spirit does not die according to Christians. When you die, the spirit goes back to God. So that means according to their logic, they have all of us, we are spirit and God, because the spirit of God, which is uncreated and is eternal, it's inside us. So that means the spirit also should be God as well. And plus, and what I'm trying to say, Christians try to approach and say Jesus is the word. So therefore, Jesus is God. There was no 
there is nowhere in the Old Testament where it says Jesus existed in the beginning. It's found in New Testament and is not even there, but it's Christian theology. Let me give you an example. I finish one minute. Okay. Okay. So he, he again doesn't. He doesn't understand what Christians actually believe. We don't think that the Word of God is eternal. That's your belief, not mine. We we make a distinction between the energies of God and the essence of God. God's essence. So, for example, God can be merciful. We don't, and that's His energy that proceeds that comes from His essence. So, His mercy is His energy that comes from His essence. We don't say, for example, that something that proceeds that comes from God must therefore be God. We don't hold that view. But in Islam, again, the word of Allah that comes from Him. Yes, that has been with him before creation. The Quran has not been created, right? It's eternal, it's uncreated. That must have been alongside Allah forever. That must mean, therefore, that if it is separate from Allah, you have two gods. If it is not separate from Allah, then you then you basically have Allah in and of himself, the Quran, which is now in creation. Allah has entered creation because the Quran is a part of Allah. So you have to pick one of those two things. Which is it you're going to pick? Are there two gods? The Quran and the and Allah, which are both uncreated and eternal, or has Allah entered creation through the Quran, which is one of His attributes? Which one is it? Is the Quran His attribute or not? The Quran has been copied okay. from Torah and Bible. Now he proved, exposed his doctrine. He said the word of God is uncreated, it's not eternal. Therefore, he believes Jesus is the word of God. So that means Jesus is not eternal, which means Jesus is not God. Simple as that. He exposed his doctrine. Yes, it's recorded. I said the word. I said the word. You said the word is, is not eternal. What? So that means you believe no, I mean, Jesus the is word. the word. No, not no, the no, word. no, no, the word. You said. You I'm said these don't believe as Christians. The Stop. word is not this is the word of God. The word. So that yes, means the word. Jesus is the word of God. He said plural, plural, plural. He don't make sense. So no, 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 Jesus no, 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 is not this in public final. space. Don't I mean, title the banner. The Christians, the reason they say Jesus yeah. is the word of God. Jesus is God because they say Jesus is the word of God. There is nowhere in the Bible even is contradiction and clear cut contradiction because in Old Testament it doesn't say it doesn't say Jesus existed before as the word of God and the word became flesh because in Genesis chapter one you can't tell me this is public space okay. I have 30 seconds okay. and then yeah. In Genesis, go, go to the, uh, Somalia, 1 1, to Somalia. it says, in the beginning, God <laughs> created Somalia, heaven and earth. I have knowledge from Allah. Says, in the I have knowledge from word, Allah. And the word was with God, in and the chapter word became God. 12 verse 96. God, and the word was God. Don't mention the wrong words. There was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yes. Okay. So now, in, in Old Testament, it doesn't say that. L clear cut lies, Jesus said what? In the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 5. O oh, Father, glorify me, that the glory I had before with you, before the world was created. So that means Christians use that word verse, try to indicate Jesus existed before the world was created. That's a clear cut lie. You know why? Because in Old Testament, in the book of, in the book of Psalm, chapter 8 verse 5 it says Jesus was made lower than the angels so someone was made lower than the angels how can have glory with God Start at two minutes. Right, so Sarad still actually doesn't address the Islamic problem. I keep reiterating what the Islamic problem is, that you have an eternal, uncreated Quran alongside Allah, who is also eternal and uncreated. This is sure. You've just associated a partner with Allah. Now, Christians don't have this problem because we don't believe the words of Allah, but the words of God are eternal. We don't believe that. We don't believe it exists on an eternal tablet. We don't believe it came down from heaven. We don't believe that. So you have this problem unique to Islam. Now, this has been a problem for Muslims for centuries. There have been wars fought about this very problem. 
The Mutazilites rejected it because they knew it's irrational. The Mutazilites said the Quran is created, and that's how they got around this problem. The Mutazilites said, actually, you know what? Anyone who says the Quran is eternal and created commits sure because they copy the Christian belief. That's what the Mutazilites said. And Muslim what, what, copied what, what, lies. What happened Christian to the belief is lie. Why were they all gone? Quran is a lie. Right. I so, am Messiah, no. you are liar. I am Messiah, you are liar. Notice that he still hasn't addressed the question. He keeps going to the Bible. The Bible won't help you here. The Bible is a totally different question to what the problem you have in Islam is. I've given you the problem, I've laid it out for you. You need to get out of this issue. So again, I ask you, are you going to say the Quran is uncreated and separate from Allah? And hence you have two gods. Or are you going to say the Quran is uncreated and eternal, but within Allah, and therefore Allah is in creation because the Quran is in creation? Which one are you going to pick? Let's see if he answers my question or if he talks about the Bible. Go. Start your time. Okay, now again, he said the words of God of the Bible. I'll answer first of all, in Islam, according to Islamic teaching, Prophet Quran and the teaching of Prophet Muhammad and according to Islamic scholars, the attributes of Allah are not God. That's the attributes. Allah has attributes of speech and his speech is uncreated. And it's not God, the speech itself. It's not God. So now, so now how many he gods said, you have? So now I just said it's not God. So, so you have two God. gods. We only have Allah. Allah, and his speech. Allah his speech minutes, is not God. I love to speak. So now he said that we don't believe the Bible is written by God. So now I'm going to expose his lies according to Old Testament, the book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. God of the Bible wrote down the Ten Commandments by his finger. So that means those Ten Commandments are the words of God. And still now they have it. So he's telling me they are not eternal 